the, the number of machines in this mortuary are four, each accommodating three bodies. So three of them are broken down. Those are the ones that need to be repaired. But the only one that's functioning is actually accommodating around three bodies. And together with the embalming and the other chemical methods, we are able actually to take care of the bodies originating from there, from this facility. Yes, but our capacity has been limited for now, so we will not be able to take bodies from outside the, the facility. Yes, so that's the clarification. As for the letter the, that was actually circulating in the social media, we have not closed the mortuary. It is still functional. It's only that we are limiting the bodies from outside. Why? Because sometimes the bodies from outside might be from maybe bandits, the crimes that are happening outside there. Before they are brought in, they will have decomposed to some extent. So once they are here and they are not preserved well as such, that's the reason as why sometimes you get that extent of a stench from, from around, around the mortuary. Yes. What, what I can say about dispose of the bodies, bodies can be collected by relatives, especially for those originating from the facility and some that have come from outside. But disposal of unclaimed bodies is done through a legal procedure where the health departments go to the courts and seek permission to dispose unclaimed bodies. Right now we have around 11 unclaimed bodies of which already plans are at an advanced stage within the court to get permission to dispose those unclaimed bodies. So we are given 21 days of which I think is almost there. If the relatives will not come for the bodies then we'll have the permission of the court to dispose those bodies. So maybe a, a small clarification of the reason as to why we are actually doing the suspension of receiving bodies from outside is just because other than the limited capacity, we intend to award that tender by aid. So by then we are giving the relatives adequate time to redirect their bodies for the period when the, the, actually the contractor will be on site repairing the machines so that they will not create any other inconveniences by then. For now, the hospital is fully equipped. It has the right specialists, the right personnel in the right places. So any fear by the patients to attend Isilo General Hospital is unfounded because already we have all the personnel that are required. And even right now, if you go to the queues, patients are still being attended. Many patients are in the wards. So I don't see any reason as to why we should politicize this issue. Because the hospital is functional, is the only referral hospital in the facility. We are still getting patients from the other level four hospitals so to these facilities. So right now, since we are a junction town, we are getting so many patients from Masabet, even from Samburu, even from, from Wajia, because this is a junction area, and we are taking care of it. It's only that sometimes, due to a strain in resources because of the delayed maybe allocation from the treasury. So those are the things that some may delay some services. But otherwise, all services are operational within the hospital and patients are actually attended to. The, de the letter was supposed to be an internal communication within the hospital. And the final communication was supposed to come from the medisup of the facility in charge of this facility. But somehow, uh, the contents of the letter needs to be clarified that whatever was discussed in our, in our board meeting that the facility should suspend bodies from outside was not uh, clearly maybe noted in the letter. So that's what we want to clarify that the letter should not be taken seriously. We have actually, uh, we are not owning that letter for now. It's supposed to be an internal thing. And the med soup will be releasing a letter to the police any time which we'll share with the social media clarifying on the suspension. Today we are with the leadership of the health department in this area at the hospital uh, referral hospital and we are here to address the issue of the mortuary, the Isiolo mortuary. Right now as a county we only have one mortuary within the referral facility and there are issues that actually been talked about the mortuary for the first uh, few weeks. So I'm here today together with the Chief Officer, Medical Services, Chief Officer, Public Health, the Medical Superintendent in charge of the hospital, 
and also the hospital administrator. We want to clarify on the issue of this mortuary and also give a status, a status report of this mortuary. So as for the status of the mortuary, this mortuary is actually accommodating 12 bodies. The capacity of the mortuary is that it can only accommodate around 12 bodies. But due to the population density and the conditions surrounding our areas in terms of insecurity, we actually we have always been above capacity. So right now, the mortuary is not fully functional. The machines are functioning limitedly because uh, one machine is operational, but together with the other methods of reservations, we are only able to maybe take care of bodies originating from the facility. So about the letter that was circulating concerning the closure of the mortuary, I want to state that the Isiolo mortuary has not been closed. There was a miscommunication and we want to state that the mortuary has not been closed. What we are directing is that we are directing the police to ensure that we are not receiving any bodies from outside the facility. Our facilities for now can only accommodate bodies arising from the facility itself. Any other body, we are instructing the police to take them to the adjacent areas where there is preservation. As we continue with the process of procurement in ensuring that all the machines are functioning. Right now, I can say that we have done our advertisements for the repair of our machines. The tender will be closing on 8th of March, and by then, I believe we'll be awarding the person, the tender to repair our machines so that within the next one month, it will be operational. But meanwhile, our operations have been scaled down just to accommodate people, uh, bodies from there from the facility. Now, the question of the machines not working is something that has been there. We did another advertisement in October 2023 of which we couldn't actually go against the procurement rules where our BQ and what was quoted by the, the people who quoted was varying so much. So we had to come in, the tender committee had to come in and do another re-advertisement so that things will be between, okay, I can be within the budgets and also within what has been allocated. So that's actually the status of our, of our mortuary. It's functioning limitedly, but we should not politicize the issue of the mortuary because as much as it's functioning, we have actually given all the leadership, all the details that they required. But since the mortuary has a small capacity, as a department, we intend to have a bigger mortuary that we can actually accommodate the old city. That will be more of a city mortuary within the compound. That way, it's in the plans. It might be in the next financial year. But for now, we just want to revive full capacity of the present mortuary.